Earth Mover. Let's first cut the tire treads. I'm going to start by cutting a little thin strip off. Okay, that's the foundation for our wheels. So the next thing we'll do is, let's see how the wheels look on a piece of the three quarter. I think I want our tank tread to be about this big. So, what we'll do is we'll simply, using these as a, using the rounds as a guide, we'll start here and cut two pieces. Now that we have them, Let's look at this again. I think that's our tank tread there. Cut this one. Cut the next. Maybe the basic shape. Now, in order to make this work with our tread, we have to cut these corners off here. So, I'm going to do that now. Get a piece of your square rod. And we will measure it to about that distance there. All right, let's start assembling them. I'm going to take a long screw. We'll start in the middle of our piece here. And we'll just put it in. Now when it gets to the bottom, I'm going to stop. So it won't actually be all the way in. We'll put this in the rest of the way later. Next, we'll put the middle pieces in. Time to build a tank tread. So, if this is the width of our wheel and base, the tread needs to be about a little bit longer. So, I'm going to make a mark here. Fold my piece over. Mark the other side so that we're sure it lines up and cut. Flip it over and use it as a template. Okay, so we have one wrapped. I think we can cut it here. I'm going to leave a little overlap, otherwise the ends can fray. So you can either cut it flush and let this wiggle a little bit, or you can have an overlap which doesn't look perfect, but now it won't wobble. That's your choice. Now screw these on, putting the round side out. Add a nail from the top. Now that we're done with the treads, let's move on to the body. So taking a piece of our three quarter, let's lay the square, fat square rod down on top of it. Now we have to assume, we have to look at that there'll be two pieces of body paneling on either side here. So I'm going to line up one piece here, lay in the, three, the square, estimate here again for the next piece. You can remove this and then make a mark. This can be done with measuring or with the quick way I just showed you. So now we have the basic width for the body. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes. So I want to drill one hole here, remove the scrap, and I, I tried to leave equal space here. Now I want to do the same when I cut to leave about the same amount of space here. Now leave about the same amount of space on the top. And that should be a square with a nice hole in the middle. Now, look at that. Conveniently, that fits the same size. If it's not, cut this piece to the same size. Using more material, drill a hole. Now that we have these cut, we can take our piece. Now, this will be eventually be the upper deck, but we want to look to make sure that this piece is going to meet these two screws. So, I'm going to make a mark here. I can now see it. Now this will line up and be our body and it will meet these screws on either side. 
and we can have our body. So I'm going to now screw the body pieces to the base. Let's make our roof. So we want it to be just a little wider than the vehicle, so I'm going to mark it. Cut it. And we want it to have a little bit of a taper here. So now when we mark it, we have to come in and cut this one at an angle this way. A little bit of a bevel there, giving us a roof with a little bit of an overhang. For decoration, we can add a few uh, little smokestacks. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Have fun. Okay, now it's got a couple little smokestacks on top. So now that we have this together, we can insert a piece from the larger square peat member. I will cut it to the end here. Okay. Now I'll add two screws. Let's go ahead and assemble the body now. So lining up these screws with our body panel. Finish them off, putting the seam on the bottom. Now that we have the body complete, let's work on the bulldozer blade. This will be our piece the size of our blade up front using the, the one quarter inch. So just make a curve shape about the size and the width you think looks good. Mark it with your finger and cut. Now this is the size, this is the shape we have to make here. So if you just want to hold it up, you can kind of say, I think this is going to be a good thickness. And we'll cut, and we'll cut a second piece. Again, taking your foam and laying it over. Now, you can come in here and you can do square cuts or round cuts. This is up to you. Use your creativity. I'm going to use the small blade and match the drawing. Now, lay this on here, pull it back and you can see that it ends here. We'll have to make another cut, mark it, stack two, and cut them. Okay, this is now the shape of our front bulldozer blade. I will just now use some uh, screws and attach the front, the front blade components together. So let's add a little piece across the top. Because I didn't measure, this angle here is a little bit off. So I'm just going to come in with my saw and cut off the piece that's in the way. To watch out for your own screws. Now we just have to attach these two pieces together. So the simplest way is to start by cutting a piece, I think about this size. And we'll need two of everything, so. Now we want to attach this to here and then also into here. So first we have to cut this curve. I'm going to come in here and using the bulldozer as a template, 
Okay. I've now cut that. These will now line up nicely here. So, the best way to do this is to just hold it, use this to hold it. Come in from the back. Decide where you want, what angle you want it to be. And then just release one and hold one. Now we'll put in a screw from the front and put in the second. Put the pieces again as a spacer. Line everything up. Add your next screws. Okay, now this will fit in here. So depending on how much you want this to tip, you can make this piece longer or shorter. In the drawing, it's a little shorter. If it's easier, cut on a piece, cut on some extra pieces. Or unscrew these, cut these, and then put them back on. For speed, I'm going to cut these here. I'm just going to cut down. Now remove the scrap and you can attach your, your piece in here. And it's ready to position. So as long as when you put your nails in, put them straight across from one another and try to put them in the center of the board and if you do that right you will be able to pivot your scoop when you're done I think I've decided I want to move the scoop down a bit And there we are, your finished earth mover.